Ah, uh, there's Ted. Um, today, uh, we're gonna be finishing up the dragon family. So I got this 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 Reaper dragon came with the other two. It's a small dragon, so I'm gonna make this a youngling. Um, so that it has to go with darker colors. A little bit more easier to hide and stuff, so it's a little bit younger. So the the uh the chest sh scales I'm keeping the the Nasdaq Nasdaq uh, yellow. So I'm keeping all that kind of links them all together, but his but his art the scales are going to be a Cree camel green. The darker green will, will help him better um, to hide. And for his wings, I'm debating a di couple different colors, uh, like military and green or something like that. So I might do military green. That's a dark color too. So. It makes him easier to hide, hide in dark and stuff like that. And once he starts growing up, he'll start getting brighter and brighter scales. So to start with, we'll go with the yellow for his, his belly scales. And just like the other ones, you just locate the scales that you want to paint up to underneath his chin. And to start putting the yellow on. Let's get up under his belly. And get his tail. And just figure out what best looks best for you for doing his tail and what looks natural for uh, what's on the miniature. Oops, got a little over bleed. And what's nice about contrast, yeah, what's still, like you put it on, you get over too much, you can wipe it off. But it's a, I'm going to put a darker color on the side, so it's not really going to matter. So just look, make sure you got no white showing. All right. That looks, I guess it looks like everything. Oh, there's a little spot right there. All right. Hello. And we're going to go to the Creed Camo. So this is a darker green. And this this is going on the majority of them. We'll go right up to the edge of the yellow. And let's go... Right down to his tail. He got all that done. Did, did. There you go. So I'm not going to paint his, spot, spot, his spines on his back. I'm going to keep those for a different color. Like I did the other ones. I might just do those in black. Since he's still young, he hasn't developed his coloring yet. Okay, we'll go down his legs. Oh, got his other hind leg. Okay, go his front leg. Just think this paint exactly like do the rest. Just work your way around. Make sure you get all the white covered. As if he gets some yellow, it bleeds over. Just go back and work it with the green a little bit, and the green will take over the the yellow, and they'll just 
blend all together. So, and the capsulation between the liquids will just helps you can um, help you keep the border too. So this contrast paint is quite forgiving. Snout. And there's quite a different ways you can use contrast paint when you're using it. I said you, you can use it right out of the pot. That's how it was made for. But if you want it more subtly, you, you can mix it. I mean, you can use water. If you add water to it, then it becomes like a wash. So if you want want to do some more cut, some washes, so if you got like a lighter green, you can take this water, water it down and put in. It'll give you a dark green wash. Or you can use their contrast medium. Um, if you mix that with it, then it becomes like a glaze. So you mix that together, thin it out, and you put it over, and it will sub it will it will do a smooth covering, which can change the color, not a lot, but it gives like a tint. It's like a tinting, because like a wash will go down into the crevices and stuff and be darker in the crevices than above. But with the glaze, you put over it, it will do all the color that way. So. It's just a different way to use it to give different effects and stuff that you want. A glaze is a good way to smooth colors. So you got you got you put some colors on which are really different from each other. It's like kind of hurts the eye to look at because it, it just doesn't make sense because color theory and stuff. It's like too far apart. You put a glaze over it, then it adds a, like a neutral effect on top. That yes, two contrast colors, but the third color you put on kind of binds the whole colors together so it just helps the brain to work, work it out that's why sometimes you look at things that are colors are too far apart and it kind of goes it just doesn't make sense with the coloring because it's your brain just can't work it out but if they're close cl close colors then they complement each other help out but so it's one of those things that you can study color theory, learn about it, and work it out. But this way, but with certain glazes and stuff like that, I can I can help out. So if you did paint stuff, you like the colors, and it, it, if it's not making stuff, you can put a glaze over it. Then it actually really binds it together. So there's many different ways to paint. And how they use paint how you want because you can paint using just washes all you use is washes to paint uh, you can you can use um rugger paint but thin it way down and use multi-layered to give a su subtle change in color gradient and stuff if you look at a lot of um painting champions and stuff that's what they use they th Thin their paints down and they build up the layers to get to the color. So it's all a nice smooth transition. It's very small wings with so look at the edges. Now, some of the areas I went over, you can take your brush, just a little wet, and just kind of drag some of it off. Or I said, or you can go back with white paint and paint over it again. Once it's dry, then you can paint right over it again. So that's good if you're doing a dark area, if you want to add a light color. Then you take some white paint and just go back over and paint the stuff white that you want to be a lighter color. So, so you can get that color. Uh, lighter color onto the top of the dark color 
that that you have to do with most your most your paint so that's why if you're going to paint always try to do your light colors first and work your way up because you can cover light colors with dark colors but it's so much harder to go the other way to cover dark with light so so basically that's his green i got got his belly i got the dark green on top now i'm gonna go for his wings get this mixed up because you can see the paints on the bottom they get that pink pigment all mixed up yeah, if you don't use your paint you really gotta keep an eye on that so some so if you're not using a paint for a while you really gotta shake you can buy paint shakers so i got one on the side of the room but here with the ball bearing in there with the agitator can help out too so so this is going to be for his wings let's see how it looks yeah that's gonna be good I might just do his spines in this color too, like they match. Yeah. It is just a green dragon, so I'm going to do it that. I'm going to do that. This wing all done. Yeah, this, this is this for all the membrane between the on his wings. And we and make sure you go to the back. Make sure you get everything. So I'm debating. Yes, I'm going. I'm going to do a spines in green too. So I'll, I'll all kind of come together. So, which is simple. You just put it on. And um, since the green around the sides is dark, this green's not going to affect that. So you can put put it right on. And if you make any mistakes, it just. And also, if you do go over it just kind of the, the paint kind of blends together so it actually helps you on that too so there we go just make sure you look at every angle even even look at every angle you can come back like five minutes later and goes because you had got a little air bubble the paint dried and the air bubble formed so even then you might have to go back and just do a quick touch up just Oh, that will do his, his um, claws. He has some horns. I'm just gonna do that with Black Legion. You can pick his horns first. Oh, he has a. He has a, oh, that's his ear. Okay, don't, don't worry. He has some teeth sticking out. So I'll just do one here. They have some black in there just to fill it in. Yeah, he has a couple claws up on his wings. All right, and oh, his feet. This boy. Okay. 
Okay. So right now he's basically done. Uh, with this contrast paint, you can end it right here if you want to. And if this is a figure on a uh, board, it was just perfectly fine. I said then, if you want to, you can go back and you can put highlights and dry brush and different yellows or light browns to bring up the scales, different color greens if you want to. Or say if you're painting this for a board game, and you got about 300 miniatures you need to paint. Boom. That's like, uh, what was it, 15 minutes? He's done. Basically, he's done. You can put him on the table. Uh, the basing, do whatever you want. I'm going to be doing a video on the basing material I use upcoming. But I'm still going to dry brush this yellow as soon as he all dries and put his eye, put the eyes in. But yeah, it, little dragon go with the, there for your adventures. You come across a uh, family of green dragons and you have a very bad day. <laughs> so that's all you need to do. That uh, I said, quick dry brush of yellow on it just to pick up the highlights of the scales and stuff and. Pick up the corners and stuff to make everything just show up better. My next miniature. I got, I got a three-headed Etten I'm going to do. So this guy has more more colors and stuff on him. So it's going to be a little bit more work. And I'll go step by step on how to do him. And after that, I haven't decided yet. I got these three big guys. One's like a flying cat. That one's a flying dog. <laughs> and this is some kind of beastie dinosaur. <laughs> so I just have to work out how I'm going to paint him. So he's next, next upcoming. But said the Etten, the Etten's going to be next uh, on the paint job. Let's figure out how I'm going to do him. And he has a teddy bear on his back. He needs to be hunted down by your ventures and taken out. So it's going to be a few minutes for this to dry. As soon as he's dry, I'll do the yellow. And we can wrap it up then. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. All right. All right. Uh, he, he's dry now, so all, all I'm going to do with him... Is I'm, I'm going to hit him with this... With the yellow, I don't think I need the mid tone for this. Yellow, and just kind of draw it along this. And what it does it? This layer is a fine layer, and defines his um his scales. This makes the scales pop out a little bit more. So, the secret is you don't want to overdo it. If you do too much, then it becomes muddled. You just want enough to... Unless you're going for a certain look. You like a little, a little extra brightness around a certain spot. If you and if you put too much dry on there and then and it comes back, it's like, oh, I, I overdid it. Then you can go back with that same color you used and you can do a wash or put it straight over it again. Like with kind of, oh, my cat's causing trouble. And um, with contrast, you put the rugger paint right back over and it's right back to normal again. So, there we go, just getting the. Scales are still not quite bright enough. I want because he is a young dragon. So here the lights. Let's see. Hello. There we go. This makes it. This makes his um. 
the scales pop out more and stuff like that. So it, it's not a lot, but it's just enough to bring it together. There you go. So and there's a baby green dragon. I say, I don't. If I sat down, I think I painted all three of these guys in like two hours. So, I said, it's not much for these size. They said the longest thing you have to wait for is to dry. And if you're going to let the paint dry, that's the longest you're going to have to wait. But there's ways to speed it up with like an, you can print it from a heat device or you can just stick them outside for a few. If it's a warm day, warm, dry day, it'll, they'll dry quickly too. So, yeah, I said, I'm going to do another video on the, on the bases, doing the bases the way I do them. So, uh, until later, guys, I hope you enjoyed the, this plump down uh, dragon family. Uh, if we get some more dragons, I do have some more dragons. Uh, I got some I'm going to repaint that I painted years ago. I want to redo. So I might go through and do those guys, just the different colors, just to bring out to, to a new standard and stuff. So until later, guys, uh, keep on painting and don't be afraid to try try stuff new. Okay, so later.